Hello everyone. We've spoken at great lengths about the ability to capture 3D images and volumetric uh, data over the last month or two. And I, I still believe that there are so many people in the world who don't understand how easy this is now to capture this information. So I want to show you a very simple process called photogrammetry. There's a few different ways to do this. But what it does is you can take pictures from different angles and it uses TOF or time of flight and triangulation to recalculate a 3D image. You can either use an aerial uh, photography or you can use your cell phone now. And you can process it depending on the, the subject and the reflectivity and, and a lot of different other information. You can take up to 30 to 100 different pictures and, and get a very solid looking 3D image. So firstly, we're gonna use the DJI Virtual Reality Goggles and the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. I'm gonna fly in a circle and calculate a 3D image of myself. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the iPhone X and a, one of the very, uh, the, a plethora of different applications that are available on the iOS App Store. But let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for watching the video. You know, in closing, these 3D reconstructive technologies have been around for almost 15 years. And we've been using them in reverse engineering, digital archiving, and fashion, construction, archaeology, medical fields, agriculture, um, and archaeology as well, all over the world, especially historical sites. And there's pros and cons for photogrammetry versus 3D scanning. So one of the main pros of photogrammetry is that instant capture. We don't have to wait for the information to be processed on the 3D scanner itself. Um, obviously it is then ge geometrically calculated afterwards in the software. Um, and some of the cons are it's very difficult to set up. If you don't have the correct lighting and, and countless other variables, it can negatively impact uh, the point cloud uh, or, or the mesh data itself. Also versus 3D uh, scanning like lasers or structured light, it's much lower resolution. So you have a higher cost with uh, 3D lasers and 3D scanning and a lower cost for photogrammetry, but you have a higher resolution and a, versus a lower resolution. So I hope this helped, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching these videos. And please let me know if you have any kinds of questions at all. I'm here to help. Have a great day.